Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something different. I received a private message from a woman. I'm going to name her Valentine so that she knows who I'm talking about, but uh, I'm not saying her name. Okay, so every once in a while I get a subscriber that says something to me and they, it might just be in passing or whatever. Cream My Coffee did that when he asked me whether I thought something was nature and nurture. And I developed the entire channel around whether I could teach the unteachable or people who think they're unteachable. Nobody is unteachable when it comes to art. I could teach anybody. But in that one little question that he asked me eons ago, a year ago, it sparked the whole entire theme of the channel in me teaching. Um, another person was Rosie O'Kelly. When she asked me, can you just do a beginning tutorial? Where do I start? Okay, I started doing way beginning tutorials. Now, another inspirational moment. Valentine came to me and she hasn't been, she's not the first person to say this to me, but she has a vast collection of books and she's afraid to dive into them. Now, we've talked about in the past, you know, what are you waiting for? You know, so what if you screw up a page? You know, it's it's all in fun. It's no big deal. And we, we've discussed that issue on here many times. But she doesn't know how to pick her palettes. So I gave her, well, show me what you have and, you know, what you like. And that's the cop-out answer. I need to be able to show her and get her over that fear. And if she's got that fear, maybe there's somebody else out there that has that fear too. And that becomes a teachable moment. So I am starting a whole new series and this is gonna be a regular on the channel. It's not something where I'm gonna do one, two, three, and four. This is gonna be a part of the channel. So we have Valentine, thank you. You are now part of Color My World History. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spotlight pencils. And what do I mean? Well, every once in a while, as everything comes up, every once in a while I do one type of video and then I do another type of video. Well, I'm adding to this. We're going to do a pencil spotlight. And you see this? It takes me a while to get prepared for this. So it's not something that's going to come up or I can promise every day, every month. Well, it'll be more than once a month, but it's not going to be something where I'm going to promise you every day. We're going to study an individual pencil and I'm going to show you how to build palettes around it, how to blend it, what it's made of, why it reacts to certain colors. And over time, what I'm hoping is going to happen is that you watch enough of those and you kind of build them together, people will start losing their fear of building a palette and what you can put next to each other. And so this is going to be like a process. And probably until I get a good 10, 15 of these done, will it start to sink in and add to your repertoire. But I really am excited about this. I have a lot of tips, a lot, like all my tips are going to be like in every one of these videos. You see the paper in front of you looks pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. This is one of my blending charts. Now, this is going to be the inspiration that's going to fuel. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do as, as extensive as I did for this one in the future, but I'm going to certainly try. That's why these these are easy tutorials for you, but they take a lot of prep for me. So this is going to be my first one. We are going to be starting it probably Monday. I'm not going to discuss anything about this or how I'm going to use this, but I just wanted to show you guys what's going to be coming up. I also wanted to make a clarification on something. I love this book. It was the perfect book. Well, we're going to amend something about this book. Um, I'm having a little problem with the tooth on the paper, and I thought it was me. So I went out and I asked some of my coloring buddies that I know, <clears throat> Prismatic Addict, 
Celeste, sub her channel. Um, yeah, cheesy, I know. Nobody caught that one. But I was talking to her because we are, me and her are going to be going back and forth with these pictures and, and we were excited about it. And we're both having a little bit of the same issue. Um, and I'm working around it. It doesn't hold color well. Uh, people are going to kill me. Um, there are ways that, there are a dozen ways I can work around this. But I'm going to say pure pencil on this book, not so great. Not horrible. But I'm having trouble getting my blacks really black because as soon as I turn around and I close the book for any period of time, they turn gray. Um, I used every known pencil that I have from Holbein's. I used oils. I've used you, every pencil I own, Prismacolor, and they all react the same way on this paper. Now, what can you do about it? Well, you can use products that increase the tooth. I think what it probably is, is the tooth. And it's a little smooth. So it's not holding the color like I would have liked. And it's very difficult to get the richness that I would like. But there are products you could put on the page. And in addition to that, you can use marker or watercolor underneath it that will also help lift the tooth sometimes with the, the water on a tooth. It depends on the paper. I have to test it out. So while I gave this the highest remarks that I can, a little glitch that I'm going to be working around. And maybe if you're thinking of getting this book down the future, you'll know beforehand and know how to handle it. Still, I love this book. I love the pictures in it, the artwork, everything about it, the size, the the rest will we'll get around, I promise. So that was another thing that I just wanted to clarify and not in case people are about to spend all this money on it and then they get it and they're like, uh, Lori, um, can we talk about this? So I have seen other people using it. I have seen other people using it with markers and not only markers, but with watercolor. So this might be the type of paper that just needs that. We'll see. So, okay. I want to thank everybody for all the wonderful comments that people made to me over the five part series of crazy colors that color blends and uh, the one that I put out yesterday I have been putting out two videos in a day only because I got so ahead of myself in doing videos I keep them in YouTube like I'll do a video put it in YouTube and I always have more than I need that's why it appears as if I can do a video a day and put it out like it's a snap. It's not so snappy. Sometimes I have an easy video and then I have a harder video or I have three or four videos that I'm working on. So it appears to you as if I have a video a day, but it's not really. So that's why I put out two. I don't get, <laughs> don't, that's not going to happen all the time. It's, it's probably going to happen if I get these done. There'll be more two videos in a day. Um, but I'm going to be shooting for my one video a day, which is very doable for me. So I will see you guys either later today. I'll put out, you know, an actual coloring video and not just a talking video or tomorrow. And I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Keep coloring. Bye-bye.